Hey guys, so real quick, um, unfortunately, due to poor planning on my part, I was unable to replay this next section to get the dialogue, and unfortunately, it's kind of dialogue heavy. But it's been like six days since I've uploaded an Andromeda video, and I just need to get them out so we can get through this weird no audio part and get on with the rest of the game. <laughs> so I will be having to replay that and, you know, speeding through it really quick, but um, hopefully I can work out a better schedule at some point and not keep not uploading videos every five days so hopefully it's all right um it's only 40 minutes long i cut it a little bit short so um sorry about that hopefully i'll be able to keep it going better for the next one but thank you for your patience and thank you for your understanding and i hope you guys enjoy it anyway and i'll see you in a second Okay, hello everybody, and welcome back to Mass Effect Andromeda, where I, as you may be able to see, I got the little, I got the menu screens to work. And I was investing in skills, and apparently I had 16 points, so woohoo. Um, I put a bunch of points into shotgun, because I do want to get the one where we get the shotgun reload speed uh, fixed. I think I invested one more into charge, or maybe we already had that. I did decide, because I'm, I'm not getting bored with my current setup, but I want to keep it fresh. So, I got Annihilation and Backlash. Um, Annihilation, I got pretty far. And this is pretty good for, like, an up-close fighter, I figured. Like, you run in, you I run in, do my combos, and then I do this, or I do this, and then run in and do my combos. There is a recharge speed penalty for the other abilities, but I figured it'd be pretty cool to try. Backlash would also be nice. Um, I'm going to have to put that in somewhere. I can't obviously fit it into this loadout, but that's okay. And I up I think I upgraded Lance a little bit. Um, and I have all the profiles unlocked. I unlocked Soldier. So I have all the profiles now. But I think I'm going to stick with Adept for now. Um, skill well, I did Vetra. I got these guys. We finally have enough points to get their special abilities. So I upgraded her power armor one more, so a little bit lasts a little longer, and I got turbo charge for her as well. So that's pretty cool. And in Drac, I got his flat cannon, and upgraded the Krogan warrior as well. So he's pretty bad A at this point. Also, I was looking at my journey so far. Um, Moshe's rescue, you saved her, but angered her by refusing to destroy the cat facility. Jal approved of your decision, hoping the Resistance can one day rescue the innocent and guards that inside. You made sure the Ket Cardinal left in charge of the Exaltation Facility did not survive meeting you. We did the crisis, but the traitor in Kadara Port, you made a deal with Sloan Kelly to get the information you needed from Vane Terra before its public execution on Kadara Port. Um, Eos, we did that, and the Angara crew, like, no, they're dragged. No, no, no. Korra's has changed. You and Korra have become confidants as well as colleagues. She's clearly glad to have you as a friend. Kalo. Cal's growing riff with Gil Brody is becoming hard to ignore. Liam, he continues to confide about his hopes and doubts for the initiative and peoples of Helios. You're becoming close friends, although he seems distracted by the low number of outposts. Lexi is the same. PB's is the same. Vetra talks about um, the we're talking with her dad. Uh, Gil hasn't said anything. Oh, okay, I, had, I didn't read CVs. You and CV have also spent some time talking about respective families. CV's parents are both academics and inspired her to begin to journey in science. Jao. He appreciates the time you spent with him, learning about him and his people. He's also incredibly grateful for the part you played in rescuing the Moshe. He really likes that you took his advice in the cat facility. And God, don't hide their feelings. Your friendship will grow. So, yeah. Oh, let's see. Um, I, didn't, I didn't do this yet. I've completed a more thorough evaluation for now. This is what I'm delivering. You exhibit heart and empathy in many situations. Also, the passion that you bring to your role as Pathfinder does not go unnoticed. So this is all completely... I would say this is all completely in line with his or my, her. Uh, okay. In line with her tendency to act impulsively in many situations to go with her gut rather than pause and wait for more information. I would add, you're quick to use warmth and humor in many situations. Your casual and open nature is welcomed by much of the team. I would note, however, tendency towards sarcasm. Okay. Uh, I act impulsively, apparently. I go with my gut rather than pause and wait for more information. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. All right. Looks good.
Those are important things to keep track of. It's also important to know what the game keep track, keeps track of. I think that my quest log has glitched, by the way. Because I'm, I'm, I'm supposed to be finding that, right? But the main mission is to retrieve the Ket transponder from the Badlands. And I don't know why... But for some reason, it seems to be mixed up. So I think what we're actually going to do is leave and come back. And hope for the best. I also think it would be a good idea to talk to Sloane. God dang, you're so bright. Oh my gosh, you're ridiculous. I need to get a better paint job for you, baby. All right. Oh, let me get Nope, we have enemies around, so. Such pretty looking water, though. Too bad it will kill us. Yeah, get mad. Um, whoa. Hmm. Looks like it was supposed to be a water treatment facility, maybe. Hey, yo, can I, can I come back in? Take me back. Well, apparently you can just come back in. Okay, bye. Um, I guess I want to go back to the Normandy. What's over here? I don't know. I want to go play poker with Gil. Is this water bad for you? It is bad for you. Dang, they just have like a freaking fountain of poison water right there. They don't do anything about, apparently. There's like so many abilities in this game, I just don't even know. Like, I want to do them all, you know? I want to play with... I should have invested in Tactical Cloak, though. I completely forgot... Uh, I get okay. Let's. I guess let's look at this. Uh. Hmm. That is pretty cool looking. I don't know though. I mean, just the stuff I have now is fine. You know. Ooh, I could get the third one. Oh, shoot, this gives you better melee damage. And I wanted to, um, I want to make a melee weapon. This would allow you to have two melee weapons, right? Why would I make one? Omni Blade 2. Omni Blade 3. Can I have a second one? Looks like I've got most of the materials for it, but I'd really like to make a sword or something. Advanced life support. Ooh. To shield the occupants is there. What's agility mode? Oh. Oh, right. No, we don't want that. Oh, shoot. Can I get that? That's also cool. Hmm. Ah. Supplemental life support. Um, I mean, this would be nice. It's installed automatically. Sure. Well, thank you. I'm glad. Emergency shield discharge. I did that. 
And I did it. Oh, these are all the ready developed things. Okay. I want to, I want to, when can I get a sword? I want an Asari sword or something. Where do I get that? Where, what's like my, my current one I have is the, is the shotgun that, yeah. I need to get number two of that. I'd like to put mods on. I keep forgetting to do that too. Eh. <laughs> Uh, no. Wait, what? Yes! You're my friend now. You're my friend. Okay. He's my new best friend. He complimented my ship. He's my friend. Oh, I, that's right. I have to leave via this. Turn to Tempest. Let's go play poker with Gil. I should probably do one of Liam's quests, too. Jeez. He's got a couple. Needy fellow. <laughs> kind of a crazy looking planet. All that self. Whoa. I don't know. Ah, yes, finally. Huh? Um... <laughs> you can tell this is not a military ship. Oh, that's funny. Okay, geez, there's a... Oh, hello, Pie Jack. Gross. Shut up, Drac. Leave my monkey alone. I love him.
Oh, okay. I don't know how to talk to you anymore. Like, should I do the flirting option, you know? <sighs> like, I don't know. Okay, Jaws obviously got something to say, because this door... This is how I know when my crew wants to talk to me. The doors are closed. Never fails. They're like teenagers. Are you okay? <laughs> Oh my gosh, you're a sweetheart. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Do it. Oh boy. He would love it. Oh, maybe not then. Yes. Good point, Ryder. Good point. Indeed. Yes, yes. Man. I want to say I know how you feel, you know, but I'm going to go with the flirting because it's between Jal, Vetra, and maybe Reese or whatever his name is. Yeah, those are my, those are my best options. Liam's kind of tempting, but. Can I, can you, can you blush? <laughs> Why are you smiling, Ryder? Yep, just sc scamper off. Right, yes, that. Wow, okay, whoa, whoa. Uh, whoa, <laughs> whoa. Uh. Uh oh, whoa. Wow, did you see that that gesture? <laughs> yes, I do too. <gasps> no. Oh no.
Wait, what? She's she was ta- I was thinking she was taken by the cat. No wonder Ephra so hates the cat so much, you know? But dang. Okay, jeez. Now we're going to be Okay, this is just the flirting is so awkward. so wonderful that was wonderful okay okay that was wonderful i love this game this game is awesome see cora obviously doesn't need to talk to me because her door is open and she's not in here nobody seems to hang out upstairs so that's good like that i don't have to keep checking hey it's the nomad uh oh. All right, all right. Read Vetra's. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. Whoopsie. Calla, we need to chat. You and Gail's thing is getting a bit ridiculous, buddy. Are you joking me, dude? Are you joking me, dude? You two need to get you two need to get along. I understand why Callow's doing this. It's it, he feels like it's his duty to take care of the ship because it's the last it's the remnant of him and his people's like his group, his, his his colleagues, like his friends, it's their work, it's their life's work, the, the Tempest. That doesn't mean it can't have a few changes, you know? But I understand why he's, why he's considers it sanctified, you know? So, but they're gonna, and Gail needs to understand that, but Callow also needs to understand that things can be optimized. So, let's see. Bathroom. Oh my gosh, I need to bring Liam and Jaw out. I want to hear them talk. Uh, okay. He's really putting a lot on his shoulders. <laughs> oh. 
that's good. I'm so tempted. I'm so tempted to romance him, too. There's just too many options. Hot patch gun. Lost this from the workbench yesterday. I'm really hoping it didn't fall through the deck plate and give comment. Liam, I borrowed it to fix a loose sole in my boot. I'm almost done. Liam, can I grab that quickly after? I need to patch a strap, Cora. Oh, the pilot seat cushion just needs a quick fix, too. Callow. That would really help the rickety shelf I've got down here. Petra, I built another hot patch gun. You guys can fight over that one. <laughs> Gosh, I love this crew. It's so great. Everybody's so great. Uh oh. Is that a cat? He wants to try to fix them. Uh, we can hope. Oh, oh. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> I didn't mean to do, I mean, I, I was kind of hoping, like, you know, it could be something, I don't know, I guess I really should have said it the other way. Whoa, I'm so sorry that I did that, I didn't mean to offend you. Uh, my room. My, nope, this is not my room. Let's go to my room really fast. Uh, she's right, I shouldn't have said that that way. Why won't the music stay on? Look, wait, wait, wait. There it is. There's my other little one. Boop, 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 boop. What's this one right here? I can't quite tell. I'm sure somebody's already told me by now. All right. No, no, just tell me. That's a good question. I mean, how would you enforce such a thing, you know? Oh my gosh. An encrypted message came from Sid that she wants to talk to us. Sounds urgent. Gonna need you for this one. Okay. Got a league on Ark Natanis. Scavengers found pieces of an Ark on a planet and called it a lad. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we just heard about that invitation. I must be brief, but I hear my virus is a success and Sam is disconnected. Excellent news. Ex excellent news. We're talking person. Uh, it's night. We close the nap point for sanctuary on Kadara. Okie dokie. Uh, done on the Hyperion deck. Oh, this is, oh, this is the captain. 
from oh shoot this is sid i know this isn't following protocol because who am i to contact a pathfinder with a person calls all right but i know vetra will tell me i'm overreacting and i swear i wouldn't do this unless i thought it was something serious there's just stuff going on here that doesn't really add up and people are getting hurt it's hard to explain can we talk in person i'm in operations okay to a rider from Vetra. One of my friends from Kadara sent a list of tips for surviving there. It's mostly common sense, but there are some gems. No one really, no one knows who the charlatan is asking is dangerous. Be really careful dealing with Sloane and anyone who works with her. Politics on Kadara are less about who's got the biggest stick and more about who's willing to use the sticks they have in creative ways. There's a hole in the wall place in the slums that makes the best cup of Kula. Do not mix Kula with other stimulants no matter what anyone says, humans only. Don't ask Umi the bartender to surprise you. Okay, a diplomatic reading from the Nexus Cultural Exchange. We are currently hosting the first Sangaran ambassador, the Nexus, Issa de, Va de Navarre. Despite the importance of your duties, we hope your next return to the station will coincide with this visit. A cordial meeting between the Pathfinder and the first reach, uh, to first reach Aya and the Angar ambassador could set the tone for the relations in the future. From Laura to Safra. Whoa. Uh, matriarch credits. What? Two rider from Drac. Last time I was on Kadara, I met this Asari at Crowds who said she'd let me in on a little score. Apparently, there's this matriarch who came over on the Nexus, only she died in stasis. My contact says she's next in line for the old lady's credits. A lot of credits, and get this. She says she'll split them with me. Trouble is, there's red tape transfer fees, and she's having trouble mustering up the credits to clear them. Asked me if I could cover the transfer cost. I tried to bring Vetra in on this, but she says it's a scam. I'm not so sure. It sounds like a pretty good opportunity to me. <laughs> drag drag grandpa grandpa just no don't don't no mm, lexi okay good i thought you should know i spoke to jaw after some reflection he seems to accept that the process of exaltation cannot be reversed i apologize if i was harsh before i can get a little passionate when it comes to patience and my professional opinion i know you were only trying to help and ultimately we both just want what's best for the tempest crew i will continue to run tests and study the data you obtained from the cat facility regarding exaltation but right now i must believe what the evidence tells me which is that exaltation is permanent i believe it i don't think it can be reversed non-work-related email from Jaw. Holy crap, I have so many emails. I told Liam and PB it, and Lexi, a children's story that my mothers used to tell us back when we were small. It's from our oral history at the time before the scourge. The crew said I should write it down so that it can be added to the cultural center on the Nexus. The wayward child. Long ago, there was a child who was very stubborn and wouldn't listen to any wisdom, not from her father nor her many mothers. One day, seeking adventure, she snuck aboard a spaceship with an unknown destination. The child was brave to seek adventure. However, she ended up getting spaced with a load of garbage. Deservedly, she froze in the cold vacuum of space and died the end. <laughs> I don't know why the crew enjoyed it. It's a terrible story meant to scare youngsters into obedience. Is this a novelty to your people? If so, how do you humans keep children from hurting themselves? <laughs> I can't I can't really explain, but it's it's horrible, but it's funny because it's horrible. Uh oh wow. Uh okay, a communication from your friend Jal. <laughs> dearest, in your culture, is dearest too strong a word to use when two people are fond of each other? Hold on. And is fond too strong a word to use when two people enjoy flirting with each other? I enjoy you. Even now, I smile picturing your face. Angara are free with our emotions, and it feels normal for me to lay mine at your feet. I hope this is not too strange for your species and that you can comfortably accept them. I enjoy you, but more than that, I adore your strength and courage and beauty. Your dearest child. Holy crap. Hold up there, boyfriend. Hold up there. I'm still... I'm still looking around, buddy boy. You better just hold your horses. <laughs> wow. Uh, from Drac. I thought I'd show you what Strux sent me a transcript of an audio log that's got me worried about the colony. Sounds like Morita's cooking up something. Don't know what to think. Morita, stop arguing with me, Brank. It's payback time for the initiative. Brank, they don't care about us, Morita, but they will soon. They will. Soon they're going to know that I'm Overlord, and once I execute my plan, there'll be no denying that the Krogan rule Helios, and they'll come begging to us. Brank, okay, Morda, I'll get a team together. Gather everything we need. Morda, no Krogan bows down to the Nexus again. O okay. What the heck? That does sound bad. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to do some work. Uh but apparently shoot. Um Man, there's so much to do. 
Oh my gosh. Like, ugh. So many, so many, so many. Uh, oh my gosh. Uh, there's so many missions. All right, let's go play. Let, let well, okay, for friggin' heck, let's just go to the Nexus and play poker with Gil. Wait, wait, wait. We haven't. Yeah, we haven't done. We haven't talked to everybody yet. Of course, if I talk to Vetra now, I'm gonna feel obligated to do her mission because it sounds like Sid's in trouble. What? What the heck? Oh, Eva model is damaged. Mechanic E signatures, Jal, Liam, and Gil. Okay. Why, why, why could I scan that now? Oh, I didn't get to talk to you there. No. Okay, Vetra. Uh, yeah. <laughs> She's getting too old for that. Getting too old for that veteran. You're not gonna, she's going to get in trouble. Vetra, give me something. Hey, Drac. Drac's up there. No, it's all good. I just, I can't decide. Like, I'm just, I'm kind of just flirting and seeing where it goes with anybody at this point, you know? <laughs> ah, okay. Okay. All right. She doesn't seem unreasonable, you know what I mean?
Hey, buddy. <laughs> I love you, Gil. Okay. Okay, Gil, we need to play we need to play poker. Alright, here we go. We're ready to play poker now. Pretty sure anyway. I love how I know when somebody wants to talk to me because their doors are closed. Uh, yep, yeah, Jaw, you just gotta give me a minute, buddy. I, I don't think you realize that f flirting is, you know, a big general activity that happens. Alright, time for some poker. And maybe we'll have to do some Nexus stuff. Oh my gosh, look at all these. Look at all these. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I need to do some missions now. That's nice. I have to go. I have to go. I have to do things. I have to go play poker. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at all these systems that have opened up. I haven't done anything. Here it is. <laughs> 